You want to know the things that you should and should not be doing with your slime motion animations. If you want to know what those things are, watch this video because that's coming in right now. What's going on, you guys? This is Ultron 2. I'm going back to the Ultron 2 show. I'm coming to live by the power of the internet. So, guys, check this out real quick. So, I have a very special video here. And I have some things that I need to talk about and get off my chest. Um, And I'm going to be getting back into more stop motion, like, advice videos and stuff like that. Um, and I also had another person who wants to start stop motion animation. And he did contact me on Instagram. And we did have a group chat. We had to talk and whatever. And I did explain things to him. And I hope and hopefully he is watching this video and you know who you are. So things that animators should and should not be doing. And I'm not speaking for all animators. So just to put that out there. I'm only particularly talking about the Stop Motion community. Stop motion animators in general, you know. The smaller part of the so much community, not the big part, because a lot of these animators out here already know the rules and aspects of so much animation. But I'm talking about the smaller creators and people like me. So, yeah, and just to put this out there, I am not a professional. I just have a lot of known experience. So, yeah, so I've been in so much community for a couple of years now, and I've seen it all. I've seen a lot of stuff that's been going on. Good and bad. And for those who don't know, I started YouTube um, back in 2014, right? So, even during that time, before I started YouTube, I've seen a lot of animators. I've seen a lot of stop motions. When I first started off YouTube, I wasn't doing stop motions. I was doing, like, iPhone videos, Beyblade videos, stuff like that. It blew up my channel. Grateful for that. Very, I'm very grateful for that. Um, and down the line, I was making stop motion animation videos, right? So I've seen, I wanted to try to do that. And of course, it's hard. Stop motion animation takes a lot of time and effort. It's not an easy thing that you could do. But of course, put in effort, right? So I spent years not just watching animators, but also studying them. And that's one thing animators should be doing that is a should that's the first part of this video so tip number one when you watch an animator study them don't just watch them because of the video that it is you you can there's nothing wrong with doing that but if you want to be a sandwich animator if you want to improve watch their animation ask questions um feel free to comment down below what things you liked about it, what things you didn't like about it. Ask questions about how did you do this, how did you do that. That's one thing a lot of people are not doing, and that needs to change. Um, even I do that. I've changed. Um, I've asked animators, how did you do this, how did you do that, what effects do you use. Be very responsive, you know. Use communication. You have social media for a reason. So, that's tip number one. Tip number two, but this one will be for things that you should not be doing. Um, others would agree with me when I say this. And this is especially for those animators who get a lot of money to buy figures or whatever. Or if you just use your, your money to get figures in general. Whether you have a bunch of money or not. Save your money. Sec this is definitely the second thing a lot of animators need to be doing. Save your money. And I hate to bust your bubble, but what I mean by that, I mean stop buying a bunch of action figures, right? And you're probably like, oh, Tron, you don't want me to buy action figures and stuff like that? That's not what I meant. I'm saying is you need to invest into more equipment. You need to buy a new camera or a new phone, no matter what you use, or if you use a computer. Like, I'm trying to get a new computer when I get a chance to. I can't work right now because of the coronavirus. So not everybody gets the opportunity. But if you know you're working right now, you have a job, 
use that to your advantage. Instead of buying a bunch of figures, you could be out there saving your money to get a better camera, better computer, upgrading your arsenal. This is your time. You need to take advantage of the situation because I know I would. If you guys spent less money on buying figures and more time and effort and your camera quality and stuff like that, your animations will look much better. Like, that's what I did. The only income I make from is YouTube, right? And I'm very grateful for YouTube and also you guys watching the videos. If it wasn't for you guys, I w a lot of stuff I have in this room I would not have. Even this chair I'm sitting on, right? That's the only income I have. And I don't make a lot from it, but I use what I have. You know, I'm very appreciative. Life is short. Don't take things for granted. Tip number three. When somebody gives you advice... Take the advice. Don't take it for granted. You know, I've seen a handful of small anim animators in this community who sees advice to their advantage, and what do they do? Throw it away. Just like that. They don't use it to their advantage. For example, all that jazz. Like, he made advice videos, and we have some little kids out here Taking what he says out of proportion, they don't take it and use it to their advantage to improve their videos. So, that kind of what turns people off. You're supposed to use their knowledge to your advantage, not abuse it or neglect it, you know? And this is, this is why we have people who don't appreciate things for what they are. And that's just a problem. That's just a no-no. So, and I hate... When I see an animator who takes criticism, whether they like criticism or not, they repeat the same mistakes over and over. If somebody tells you, get some good lighting, you see this lighting, you see how good this is, and you see how my camera quality is, I have, I have like, um, I'm using my, um, camera to record right now, and it also has a 4K, 4K quality feature on my camera, because I spent my time and money investing into better equipment like a lot of stuff i have in my room i have good equipment because i invested my money into it and spent less time on buying a bunch of figures and we've been there i used to be like that back in 2018 summer 2018 i was buying transformers figures like crazy but i haven't collected a transformers figure in two years so and that i'll probably say something like that for a different video for like toy collectors um, because people don't make videos like that anymore. Uh, if you guys go look up videos about toy collectors, that's probably from years ago. But, yeah. So, take your advantage. Use your knowledge. And I really do appreciate all that jazz. Um, he's also helping out the Silence community by voice acting for people. Um, and I love his voice acting. I could definitely use it in my stop motion. So, <laughs> just to put it out there. Um, but... I appreciate all that jazz. He's actually one of those really cool small animators trying to help the community out. And of course, we have some little kids out here who think they know it all and they don't take the knowledge into consideration. Even that little video he made, I'm using that right now. The perfect way how to make your figures walk, right? Do it the right way. Another thing that animators should be doing is, um, well, I already said to study your animator, ask questions, all that stuff. Another thing animators should definitely be doing is to make your animations look a little better than what it did previously. So if you know if somebody make a reaction video or review on your stop motions, don't repeat the same mistakes. Learn from it. Take what we say as consideration and inspiration and advice. Use that and work your way up to your next stop motion and use the advice that we gave you. I promise you, if you do that, your stop motions will look much better. And I'm not name dropping anybody, but if you feel like your stop motions have been not the best quality lately or you feel like you've made the same mistakes over... It's all good, man. Just learn from them. Don't repeat the same thing because it's just not going to look, it's not going to make yourself look good, you know. 
Um, everybody has potential, of course. I have potential. A lot of us have potential. You just gotta use your knowledge to your advantage. Don't take it out of proportion and don't neglect it, you know. That's the last thing you want to do. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, I pretty much talked about everything I had to say. Um, like, using your knowledge, buying a new camera, investing your money, saving your money. Uh, I talked about knowledge, tips and advice, all that good stuff. These are basically my set of rules that every animator, well, every establishing animator should definitely follow. And a lot of you guys would agree with me because I'm speaking facts. It's not an opinion, it's facts. You know, saving money, that's definitely a fact. Two, better camera quality. Quality over quantity. Remember that. That's a fact. That, that even applies to YouTube videos in general. You got to always have good quality. You know, I've seen some of the same animators repeat the same mistakes like lighting. Some of the simplest things like lighting, you got to screw that up. Um... Even even with camera, I can understand you can't, not everybody has money like that, but uh, you obviously have money if you're buying brand new figures. So, no, ex there's really no excuses. Um, I have that mindset, ever since I turned 18, I have the mindset of no excuse. Um, everybody could be whatever you want to be in life. You could do whatever you want. You just have to have the right motivation, the right mindset, and work hard for it, you know, things are not just going to be given to you, you have to work for it, so, if you say that, oh, I can't buy a camera, I can't do this, I can't do that, well, one thing that you definitely can do is make an excuse, because you just did it, so, no excuses, no exceptions, I don't want to hear it, take what I say as advice, I appreciate it, and you'll be good, man, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to comment down below what do you guys think of this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Anything you have to say, comment down below. And also smash the like button. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This is Ultron 2 signing out. And take what I say as advice, guys. And signing out.